y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet my name is lilith and for today's video we are doing a day in the life of that girl i'm sure by now most of you have seen this trend going around of the pinterest aesthetic self-care work hard tiktoks and reels and just going around on all the social media platforms right now and this is not a becoming that girl video because I already am that girl and you might be too. When I first saw this trend of the green juice girl, the girl that works out and studies or works hard and is productive but also balances in self-care, I realized that I already was that person. I may not have been living as aesthetically or romanticizing it as much as some of these people but i was still doing most if not all of these things that the that girl trend does i will say one of the things that i don't do is journal unless i need to so i am the type of person that will journal when my mental health needs it but not really otherwise and I don't really meditate every day anymore. I used to. It's something that I would like to get back to doing, but we don't really do that right now. That's just where I'm at, guys. And that's okay. I still do so much to take care of my health and to be productive, and all of that still counts. So if you like these type of videos, if you like healthy vegan food, go ahead and hit subscribe because there will be more of these type of productivity vlogs in the future as well as always putting out healthy recipes and food inspiration Ugh, i hate my facial expressions before we really get into this video i want to talk about some of the criticisms of the that girl trend mainly that it's unrealistic and toxic the thing is it's not about being perfect but about living your life in a way that makes you happy and incorporating things that benefit you mentally, physically, maybe even spiritually if you're into that kind of thing. It's about living in a way that makes you feel good in your own body. It feels like a response to hustle culture that says, yes, I can be productive and work hard and hustle, but I can also prioritize my mental and physical health. Finding that balance, creating that balance, Yes, the images portrayed are aesthetic and beautiful to look at, and not everybody is going to live this aesthetic life. But something that I haven't heard anyone say in their criticism of this trend of the Pinterest girl is that photography is an art and a skill. I'm not going to put down a trend because the pictures within it are beautiful. I wouldn't put down somebody for taking beautiful landscape photos of places that I can't afford to go to. I would appreciate the pictures. People criticizing this trend go on to say it is unrealistic to live this aesthetic life without acknowledging the creativity and skill that goes into taking those pictures, editing them, something that I am learning how to do. and. I am getting better with over time. My videoing skills, my video editing skills, along with my photography skills and photography editing skills, I am constantly working at because I want them to get better. Because it's something that I enjoy. And not everyone is going to enjoy this type of art. So even if your life doesn't look like the perfect Pinterest girl, you can still be that girl. Just by striving for that balance of work and play and caring for yourself. The things I do for myself may not be the same for you. Take what I'm doing and what everybody else is doing in these That Girl videos as a suggestion, not a rule. Like I said, I don't journal every day. I don't meditate every day. I don't read during the day. I actually read before bed and I read a fiction book because I find joy in fiction books and reading before bed keeps me off of my phone. 
Oh, and the last thing I want to mention is I did not change my morning routine for this video. This has been my current morning routine for the last couple of months. We started getting up an hour earlier and working out in the morning because it fits better into our schedule right now. And it's getting warmer outside, so working out in the morning is a lot better than the afternoon. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that I did not change my routine at all. This is my normal day in the life. I'm just putting the that girl tag on it because, because I think it follows the that girl trend of finding balance in your day. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the that girl trend and if you think it's good or bad, if you like it, if you don't, just let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. I will shut up now. We will get into this vlog. So it is 9 a.m. and I'm just now having breakfast. We got up at about 6 and I headed to the gym at 7, worked out, and I came home and I just made breakfast. Now that the weather is getting a bit warmer outside, I've been having smoothie bowls more often. So I made an acai smoothie bowl with some frozen blueberries on top, granola, coconut shreds, and almond butter. This is the granola I'm using right now. This is the only brand I could find at Whole Foods that didn't have oil in them. A ton of granolas are going grain free and they have oil in them and processed sugar and all that. So this was the only one that I could find that didn't have any of those things. But it's still got nuts in it. Almonds, coconut, sunflower, dates, pecans, bananas, chia seeds, sesame seeds, flaxseed, pumpkin seeds, strawberry, cinnamon and vanilla. So it's sweetened with dates, but it's got quite a lot of like nuts and seeds in it. So I only put a little bit on there. And then of course the almond butter just tastes amazing. That's why I put it on there. And I didn't have any fresh blueberries, so frozen blueberries.
I do my makeup now? I keep my makeup in these little boxes right next to my full-length mirror so that I can sit on the floor and do my makeup because I don't have a vanity and after a leg workout like today, I don't want to stand in the bathroom and lean it over and try to do my makeup. So we're going to do it here. Um, I'm just going to show you all a couple of things that I use and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. Show you all the finished product. I use this face moisturizer in the morning that has SPF in it. I use a different one at night, but this is the one I use in the morning. So I'm going to put this on and do my whole makeup routine. It's mostly KVD makeup. Although I'm like almost out of foundation, so I might use my concealer as foundation, which I know is bad, but my concealer is a shade too dark, so it's my foundation color, so it would work. We're, we're, we're doing what we can. We'll go to Sephora this weekend. And then my best friend got me this sugar crystal amazing palette. It's so pretty. Look, just so bright, vibrant color. So we might try and use this palette or one of the other palettes she gave me because honestly she gave me all of my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, that's enough chit chat. Let's finish getting ready for the day. Here's the look for today. Very, very simple makeup because I'm gonna be working at my computer for most of the day and comfy clothes because again, computer work day. I have a lot, a lot of editing to do today. So let's go do that. So I made a beautiful salad with just a bunch of stuff that I had in my fridge. I know that he likes to have something warm with his cold meals, so I made some toast. Just some butter toast with it. So honestly, I can't even name all the stuff in it because it's got so much stuff in it. With a oil-free balsamic. I had some strawberries in my fridge that I really wanted to use in a salad because summer salads are so good. So that was the only inspiration I had for this. I had greens. I had strawberries and I had to figure it out from there but I think it's gonna be really good and we're gonna sit here and watch Soul Eater because we've been we started watching Soul Eater yeah this is Ezekiel bread with Miyoko's butter let's try the salad mm. spicy fresh very good Okay, so one thing I don't see in these videos, because let's be honest, they're a highlight reel, but I'm trying to make this a little bit more real for y'all, is actually how many dishes and keeping up with the dishes takes up time out of my day. So I try to do the dishes after every single meal. So we just finished lunch, and now this is what my sink looks like, because just like cooking at home, you make a lot of dishes, so I make a lot of dishes. Then again, I am a cook, so maybe it's different for y'all. I make a lot of dishes. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on a YouTube video, do the dishes real quick, and then I'm gonna get back to work.
curry for dinner and I made enough so that we can have some another night and that's what we're gonna have tonight. So all I have to do is heat it up. It's about 6.30, starting to get hungry for dinner. So let's heat that up. Heated it up real quick. It's just a uh, yellow curry. It's just a vegetable curry. Just with whatever vegetables I had. Because I didn't go to the grocery store this week because we had a lot of stuff left over and we went to the market so we had a lot of fresh produce. So curry is one of the things I threw together and this is so good. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. So we just finished eating dinner and I'm actually gonna do the first half of my night routine. So take my contacts out, take my makeup off, throw my hair up in a messy bun, wash and moisturize my face, and then we're gonna go play Final Fantasy for about two hours before getting finishing getting ready for bed. I like to get mostly ready for bed after dinner. That way, whatever we decide to do, chill and watch TV, play video games, it is more relaxing because I, I'm already pretty much ready for bed. So we're gonna do that right now. just ran out of face moisturizer yesterday so I'm using my boyfriend's we both use Pacifica um, I use the pink one and he has the purple one um, the purple ones like more moisturizing and the pink one I think is more like youth because my skin doesn't have a moisture problem his skin does so that's so interesting this one's like a lot more runny than the one I have than the one I use I am also wanting some chocolate before I go play, so I'm going to top the glass of chocolate oat milk. Just a little bit, I don't need a whole glass. I'm also gonna pour one for my partner because he is gonna want some. Mm. I don't know if people think of that girl as a girl who plays video games, but I play video games. So, that's what I'm showing you guys. My That Girl Life. Video games are my way of incorporating fun and play into my day. Also a way for my partner and I to connect. And y'all know I game over on Twitch as well. Friday and Saturday nights. Tonight my white mage is going to hit level 60. I'm so excited. We were trying to do it last night, but it got too late. It was time for bed, so... We didn't quite make it, but tonight we're, that, we're so close. We're going to make it. And we have a little bit more time tonight. We have about an hour and a half instead of only an hour like we had last night. So. I'll talk to y'all again in a little bit after I get my white mage to 60. Stick. My friend got me this like 
lash conditioner growth stuff. Not that my lashes need it, but she got it for me, so I decided to use it. So I've been using that every night. Uh, and sprayed my bed with lavender. And now I am going to lay down and read. I'm on book two of this series. So I just started it a couple days ago. Read about a chapter before trying to fall asleep. And I think it's actually about to start raining. Yeah, there's like some lightning off in the distance. So it's gonna start raining here real soon, which is kind of nice. I kind of like it when it rains at night because you're just all cuddled up. It's nice to sleep. I grew up in Houston with hurricanes, okay? I sleep through thunderstorms unless the thunder or wind gets too bad that it might wake me up, but for the most part, I just sleep. Actually, it looks like quite a lot of lightning. Okay, this has been a day in the life of that girl. We took care of ourselves. We took care of our work. Yeah, it's a lot of lightning. It's about to roll in hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's just constant lightning. Yeah, I hope the power doesn't go out because that's been happening lately. Uh, last time it was out was last Friday for five hours. We were trying to stream. Yeah, it was literally right after I went live on Twitch and TikTok, the power went out. Uh, so, you know, it'll be okay if it's out while we're asleep, but, you know, hopefully it's back in the morning. Luckily, we get up right around the time it, the sun starts to come out, so it's, we'll have some light. Right, I hope you enjoyed this That Girl vlog. I'm gonna go to bed now because it may seem early, but I'm tired and we get up at 6 a.m. So, good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration to be productive or not, whatever you need to do. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.